man, let me tell you, the minute you master this, you're going to see some changes and you're going to start seeing some pay dirt happening. <laughs> That's right. Do you want me to deliver this or are you going to come pick it up? Are you going to use your cash app today or your PayPal? Can we do, can we set this appointment for Wednesday at three or Monday at two? Do you want the automatic transmission or the manual? That's called a forced close. I'm gonna tell you what, why, why it's so effective. It also goes back to that painting, that picture. That person says, look, I can't do an automatic. The last time I tried that, I ran over my neighbor's cat. <laughs> I can see myself in that automatic. All I gotta do is turn the engine and go. <laughs> you say something like Catch App or Venmo, they'll send it themselves. Oh yeah, I have Catch App. And they're just eager to use it. I went to play golf the other day. And, uh, I told the guy up in the car, and I'm about to try to buy my credit card out. I'm like, look, we don't take credit card, we take cash out. I'm like, hey, okay. I mean, I hadn't even really, I hadn't even decided whether I was gonna buy those basket of balls. I was still in the deciding process because I never played that before. But when she said cash out, I said, hey, I reached in my pocket, put up my little green, did the cash out thing, and I was good to go. I didn't realize I, after I got my little bucket of balls, I man, she did pull a, a forced clothes on me. I'm about to hit golf balls. <laughs> This stuff works, ladies and gentlemen. And the last but not least, we have to do follow-up. Follow-up is pivotal. Pop, follow-up is pivotal. And good morning, uh, Brother Bradley. You've got to do the follow-up. I'm going to tell you why follow-up is so important. First of all, buyer's remorse. <laughs> buyer's remorse is real. It's real, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, usually in most states, you got you have 72 hours to change your mind. <laughs> and so... You, you better do everything you can within that 72 hour window to make sure that person doesn't, doesn't go home and, and change their mind. And not because you did anything, you didn't put a fast one on them, but people just, human nature is that way. They get home and they start thinking about it. And say, well, you know what? I probably could have waited a little while. And But the way to alleviate that or to abate it is to do that follow up. I mean, every day. Within that 72 hour window, I'd be sending them something. So, hey, look, we got your onboarding form. Thank you. All right, I'm going to send you a worksheet tomorrow. I want you to fill it out and send it back to me. I'm just checking on you to make sure that sheet is filled out correctly. We're going to fight that buyer's remorse. And I would say, once you get that sale, and when you, now if you like in a, a situation where you're doing like some type of professional services, like a legal or accounting, marketing, stay in touch with that person every a couple of times a week until that project is completed. Just touch in, touch base, because silence is not golden when it comes to sales and service. So anyway, folks, that's, the, that's my sermon for today. Sales is strategic. It's not about twisting somebody's arm making them do something or buy something that they didn't want because that's going to come back to hurt you. What you want to do is stop looking at it as you're selling or convincing someone to do something, but call it for what it really is. You're providing a much needed service. And it's even better if you do your marketing and advertising correctly and they contact you because let me tell you, that makes a world of difference. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for joining.